Okay, so you can see there's a labor minimum. And as I mentioned in the notes, there's a no layoff policy. That's why we have a labor minimum. Uh, we can't have an answer that says, hey, all you need is a thousand hours. Well, if it's a thousand hours, that means we're gonna have to lay people off and there's a no layoff policy. So that means that we need to be using this much labor, which is employing everybody, or a number above that. Now, the number above that comes from two retired people that are on call. Right? So two retired people, each working 160, which is 320. And you can see that uh, 500 and, uh, sorry, 2,560 is 320 more. Right? So you can see it's 320 more because that's two people working 40 hours a week and that for the month. All right, so this would be our labor minimum and this would be our labor maximum. Okay, and keep in mind in terms of labor, to make uh, one motor, motor A is 1.3 hours and to make motor B is 0.9 hours. And this is how many hours that we have available. Okay, so labor max was 2,560. 2,005, and just verify. <laughs> 2,560, okay. All right, we can copy that down. And notice that they're setting this up in Solver so that you can put it in with the fewest number of uh, blocks of constraints. All right, so again, this number has to be less than or equal to, and that's okay. Now, in terms of how this would work in terms of production, so this would be January production. So this is January production. And so in terms of production, we're saying for motor A, it's uh, 1.3. Uh, and for motor B in January, all right, it's going to be uh, 0.9. All right, and now for February production, we're saying it's 1.3. Right, you can see that's February, February, and then for February, it's 0.9. All right, and then for March for labor, okay, so March for labor in terms of production, it is 1.3. And also uh, March for production, it's 0.9. And lastly, for April production, for April, it's 1.3. And for April production, it is 0.9. All right, and just check to make sure it's all there. So January, so it's production of A, which is 1.3 hours, and then production in January for motor B, which is 0 0.9, and it's 200, uh, 2,560. And we can do the same for February, 1.3 for February production, and 0.9 for February production, so February looks good. And for March, March production, 1.3, hours per unit and then 0.9 hours per unit for March and then lastly for April 1.3 and 0.9 okay so now we're doing the minimum and the minimum is 2,240 so we needed the, the labor hours to be uh, that or more so 2,240 and that's the same amount so I could just copy that down And it's going to be the same formulas up here. So I can copy that and then paste it. All right, and then just do a verification. All right, so that's, that's January, that's January, and this is February for production and February for production. Okay, so it's all lining up. And this is going to be uh, greater than. So we cannot go below 2,240. All right, we can copy that down. Okay, so before I put this into Solver, I can't forget I've got my limitations here that my ending inventory for motor A must be 450. So inventory for motor... A should be right here, so that should be 1. And then for motor B should be 300, April inventory for B, and that should be 1 as well. So let's just verify 
Okay, so motor B is 300, is 450. Okay, so I'll go into solver, and I'll get rid of all these, just so I can enter it, and I can see how it's all entered. And I'll delete those constraints, and then I'll just add those in. Okay, so the objective cell is this green one there, minim and we're minimizing costs. And by changing the variable cells, here's the variable cells right here in yellow. And there we go. And then the constraints. So let's get the first constraints. So we'll do all the equals first. And we'll just make that equals. And right hand side for equals. All right, so we'll add that in. And then all the less than or equal to's. Less than or equal to, and then right hand side of that. We'll add that in. And then finally, we just move this up. All the greater than or equal to. So let's greater than or equal to. Okay, so we should be ready for solver. So again, it's uh, simplex LP. That's what we want. Uh, cross our fingers. <laughs> okay, it seems to like something. It seems to have found a solution. Okay, so it's got a minimizing cost of $76,301.62. And that is what we have for the original answer key. So it works out. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at in this video. In the next video, I'll take a look and show you the alternate model.